Welcome to the Real Estate Investor Podcast. I'm your host, Gary Lipsky of Break of Day Capital. I talk to leading experts to discuss a wide range of subjects to educate investors on best-in-class practices to build legacy wealth and positively impact communities. Let's jump in. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Real Estate Investor Podcast. I'm your host, Gary Lipsky with Break of Day Capital. Be sure to join our Facebook group, Asset Management Mastery, where we have a great community of thousands of like-minded individuals sharing resources and best practices. Today on the podcast, I'll be speaking to our very own Joseph Fang. Choosing the right insurance coverage for multifamily properties isn't that complicated, if you know who to talk to. At the Garzella Group, we're uniquely qualified to help you navigate the range of policy choices you have. And we're committed to saving you 30% in the process. We do intensive market research and have nationwide relationships so we can find coverage other insurance brokers simply can't. We should talk. Go to quotenow.biz and we'll start the conversation. Great to be back on the show together. So I uh, wanted to kind of give our audience uh, a little bit about what's going on uh, at Break of Day Capital. So one of the questions that I keep getting from our investors is, when are we going to have our next deal? You know. Um, we haven't done a deal in about what nine months now at the time of this recording. So what's what's going on? Let, tell us what's going on. Yeah, I, I'd love to be doing some deals, um, but you know there definitely is a a, uh, a bid ask a differential. Probably you know for for when we're underwriting 10, 15 percent on, on every deal. Um, but you know we don't have to do a deal to to keep the lights on, which which is great. You know we're going to stay patient. Um, and you know, if someone's willing to pay more than, then then so be it. But, um, um, yeah, I, I, I love, I love deals. We're still, we're, you know, we're underwriting a ton of deals, but you know, un unfortunately we don't have it and, um, we'll just, we'll keep waiting. We've waited 13 months before and it could be another 13 months or, or longer before we get a deal. Who knows? Are we, um, are we getting close to some deals or like, can you give us a little bit more color on that? Yeah, yeah, we uh, we've been close on a couple, um, uh, you know, and, and but but you know we have our number and we take the emotion out, and if we you know this is all we can offer, and it is what it is. If someone wants to pay more than us, then then so be it. I mean, people beat us all the time and, and pay more, but you know we're. We'll, we'll dig into our numbers and, and see if we're missing anything and see if anything's wrong, but we're not going to manipulate our numbers. You know, that's, that's when you get into trouble. You know, we're not going to, you know, tweak our reversion cap just so we can get a deal done. Um, and I, I see people do that. I see people out there with really low reversion caps, uh, sometimes ridiculously high IRRs. And, you know, they're, you know, Everyone will talk about conservative underwriting, but that that truly isn't the case. And they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna get into trouble. Um, so, um, like we we've talked about before, we're quality buyers, not quantity buyers. So we'll stay true to our underwriting, and um, you know we'll keep we'll keep putting in deal uh, uh, LOIs for for deals and talking to brokers and say, hey, this is where we're at. You know, if if um, you know we're if we get something under contract, we're going to close. Um, uh, we're we're um, we're really good buyers to work with, but you know this is the this is the price we're willing to pay. We're not going to overextend ourselves. Yeah, I, I like that. Um, it, it's definitely uh, better to be disciplined than stay disciplined, I should say, and uh, sit on our hands and, and and wait for things to come come to us. Yeah, I, that's that's great strategy. Um, well, let's switch gears a little bit. Um, Let's talk about execution. You know, we we have a portfolio of, of assets. You know, could you give our listeners a little bit of color on 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 one or two of the the assets? Yeah. So you know, during this these times when you're not doing more deals, I mean, we're always focused on our business execution. You're not just be, we're not chasing deals and 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 our execution falters. Um, we, we put the time, money, and resources to make sure we're executing. Um, one of our, our favorite projects is a deal that we closed uh, about a year ago, uh, Icon on Park, and we, we've done some social media on it, um, but we totally revamped the uh, the property, and I'm really proud of it. Our regional manager is like, that's one of our favorite properties, 
And so we took a, 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 a C class asset that was really run down and we, we painted it, uh, new landscaping throughout. We added a dog park. Um, we added uh, picnic tables, redid the whole pool area, um, which, which we typically do. Uh, but what was really cool was the, the leasing office slash clubhouse. And we, we struggled on what we wanted to do with it, uh, trying to come up with ideas and we'd have meetings there and, and, you know, brainstorming. Um, and, and you don't know, um, what you have until you start, you know, taking down walls and stuff. And so, uh, what we realized is that, uh, in the leasing office, the ceiling was really low and dark and we were able to get a foot higher in the leasing office and a foot doesn't sound like much, but it, it really, really opened it up. And in the, in the clubhouse area, there was this kitchen in, in the back. We were able to take down a wall and get to the plumbing and added a kitchen into our clubhouse and, and uh, expanded that new furniture. It's a really beautiful area for our residents. And then we also closed out the, the fitness gym, you, um, the fitness area. You could only get it through the leasing office. And now we closed off that area and have a separate door. So residents can get to it essentially 24 seven if they, if they wanted to, it's they're not beholden to the leasing office uh, hours, which is, you know, nine to five Monday through Friday. So um, really uh, change that whole property. And we know that we are um, one of the best properties in that sub market. So um, it really uh, is advantageous for us. Um, we're getting um, $359 uh, rent bumps on that, uh, on those renovated new le uh, new leases, and we're also getting on on renewals, one hundred seventy four dollar on the on the rent bumps, and fifty five percent of residents are renewing uh, over the last seven months. So they really like what we're we're doing. They they realize we have a far superior product at a reasonable cost. So they're they're staying, which is fantastic. Yeah, uh, I I agree. Um that the transformation is is humongous um and you know another another property that i i really like um uh is youngtown could, could you talk a little bit about that one yeah so we bought this in august 2021 it was garden office space and we wanted to convert it to multifamily. and uh at, at first when we were trying to get a loan very few lenders would would lend on this type of stuff. The lender that I had worked with on some other projects thought I was crazy. He's like, "Why are you paying 1.9 million for this, you know, rundown property?" And I I kept trying to tell him, "Don't look at it as office space. Look at it as multifamily." And we're buying it for pennies on the dollar. So where we stand now, um, we are we're done with the 44 units. We're waiting on power. And then we're, we'll be ready to lease up on those units. Property looks fantastic. We've also uh, framed out um, three three-story buildings that we're adding 60 new units. And uh, we've done the rough electric. We've done the, the rough plumbing. Uh, so that's coming along. And so hopefully we'll be done beginning January 2024. Uh, once we stabilize that, then we can refi um, and, and get a stabilized loan. and. Uh, and, and hold it for the for the long term. So we'll have a tremendous amount of equity in there for our, our investors and just really, really exciting how it's it's moving along. It's it's really interesting that, you know, from from the external view, you know, it doesn't seem like we've been doing much, you know, not having a deal in, in eight, nine months. But I mean, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes, you know, just operating our assets. You know, how how do you um how do you stay focused in, in this kind of environment, you know? Where, where it doesn't seem like we're really doing much. Yeah, I mean, we 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 still own seven properties right now, and so focusing on that, always focusing on how can we improve operations. You know, we core um, uh, kaizen is one of our core values, and that means constant improvement. So, taking a step back during this time that you know you can call it slower, and looking at you know what are different ways that we can improve, what are what are some of our weaknesses and, and how can we tweak it um, 
so that we're we're constantly getting better uh, looking at our our marketing materials or how how we operate and execute um are we looking you know should we be looking at the same markets that we've been looking at should we be looking at different markets and just just coming up with a lot more data points so we can make more informed decisions as we get uh closer to the end of our show um how about you just share with the listeners, you know, what, what are you seeing for the, for the rest of the year? Yeah. You know, we're going to, we're going to keep underwriting deals and um, keep looking at properties. We'll also continue to, to execute on our business plans uh, at, our, at our properties. Um, I do see rates stabilizing finally. Uh, hopefully the rates are done. If they, if they go up, you know, maybe it's a quarter bit. Um, we'll see. We'll, We'll see if the Fed, you know, Jerome Powell wants to keep trying to break things. You know, we've we've had, uh, a, you know, a little bit of a, a banking crisis. We'll see if it gets worse. I mean, there is a potential that you, you've got all of these um, office uh, loans coming to uh, to uh, um, to the end uh, soon. Does that how does that play out in the market? Um, you've got. Uh, uh, tons of multifamily loans that um, the debt is is severely hurting operators, and and a lot of the debt is coming due soon too over the next couple of years. So, um, very interesting times. Um, it's not for the faint of heart, you know. For a newbie operator, um, it's going to be tough navigating those waters. But you know, we we have a you know a great team. I'm very proud of our team here. We're always trying to stay ahead of the curve. Um, and that's what you have to do during these times. There's always opportunity. And if we find a, a good deal that, that makes sense to us, then we're gonna we're gonna take it down. We'll take down lots of deals if they, if they make sense. You know, we're there's definitely opportunity out there and um you you've got to find it and 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 we're looking high and low, you know. I think that's a pretty good perspective to have. Yeah. Uh, Gary, and, before and, we sign, oh, I'm yeah, sorry. one other thing I want to uh, talk about. So, um, you know, I, I, I've heard the saying survive until 25, you know, a lot. And, and, you know, I say, forget that. I want to, I want to thrive. I love know, it to 25. You know, this is, this is a great opportunity. And for, like I said, for good operators, you know, we're, we're flourishing. We're, you know, we're increasing NOI at all of our properties um we'll keep doing our capex we're not going to stop doing capex stop stop doing things so we're, we're looking to thrive not just survive i love that uh before we sign off um gary could i could i give a quick plug to some of our some of the new features on our website yeah absolutely absolutely so the team has worked very hard um to produce some really cool tools to help investors uh evaluate deals uh, there's short educational videos to questionnaires to some to an IR calculator, which I think is really cool because nobody really knows what IR is. And you can't figure it out, you know. So we have this cool calculator. There's a portfolio tracker and we're always adding new stuff all the time. So, you know, just just go to our website under the resources tab. There's a bunch of links, you know, go and have a, you know, have a go at it. And, you know, as always, you know, uh, please contact me, Joseph at Cap. At breakofdaycapital.com if you have any questions about any of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've i heard from a number of investors that they really love the, the resources uh, that you put together. So so thank you for that. All right. That, that'll do it for today. All right. We'll see you uh, next week on the Real Estate Investor Podcast. Thank you. Bye, guys. To all of our listeners, thanks for joining us. And if you like this episode, please head over to iTunes or Stitcher and like, subscribe, and leave a review as it will help us reach more people. And if you'd like to learn more about what we do at Break of Day Capital, head over to our website at breakofdaycapital.com and sign up for our newsletter and fill out our investor application. We'll talk to you next week.